Uh, you're listening to the voice of IWA Flip here on Interfed Radio. Uh, with me today in studio, I got Sean and Brandon's back. Brandon, Sean, you guys there? Yeah, we're here. Hey, how's it going? Oh man, I'm glad. I'm glad we got this moving. Uh, now today's show uh, looks like uh, looks like our main focus is going to be the RWL and uh, what's been going on with the RWL with this uh, Interfed uh, expansion that we're doing right now. Uh, now, uh, Sean is uh, the commissioner. Sean, uh, want to talk about when you took over this league? Uh, how how that went about? Yeah, it's pretty much when we uh, started with the MML. RWL, um, connecting them together through characters, you know, uh, Chimera and Malik, you know, from the MML. And I asked you if you wanted to be commissioner of the RWL, and you said, huh, why don't you do it? <laughs> so I'm like, hey, that's a good idea. I never thought about that. So, and it's probably been going about, let me see, about 10 cycles. Something like 10, 11 cycles I've been doing it. Yeah, and uh, we, uh, yeah, just starting with those uh, feuds, it worked out well because we we kind of went to the RWL and kind of tied our characters into the whole MML feuds that were going on. And then, uh, Flip, you came over with your characters, which were hired by one of your MML characters to come feud with our guys over there. And then Eric came across, and he just had a lot of uh, a lot of talented trash talkers, talented managers, and uh, kind of started off with a bang. Now, I mean, when I when I think of the RWL, I mean, the first obviously the first one that comes to mind is uh, the whole Bunny King angle. I mean, it, it, as soon as I think RWL, I just think of the way that Bunny King angle from you know the MML's Friday Night Mayhem just spilled over. I remember. You know, just thinking of what kind of characters to bring in based on just, I mean, I'll say it like it is, man. Your guys' characters are cynical, man. Just just every single one of them has its own wickedness. And I'm like, okay, I can't just, you know, when you're thinking of that one character that'll be the opposite and be the, like, you know, you, you, you got someone like Fan Go who is just a killer. And you're like, oh, man, you know, what, what, what do I bring in? You know, it's like, and then you got. You know, Shimera, you know, you got that whole wickedness behind, you know, her with Malik's, you know, their their whole relationship. And I'm like, you know, I, I can't bring in a bunch of sissies, you know, I can't bring in like, you know, Jam, you know, or or, or something, you know, like Barbie. I'm like, I can't do it. I, I just couldn't do it. So I, you know, I, I it took me a while to get a grasp as to, all right, cool, you know, these are going to be my girls. I mean, what, what, now when you guys were thinking about, Starting your your girls, what, what what was the thought process behind Chimera and uh, Fan Go? Uh, the the biggest thing was I, I always go with names first. You know, find some cool names that kind of mesh together, and and I'm like Brandon, I got some names. Which ones do you like? <laughs> okay, <laughs> he picks his, I pick mine. Yeah. <laughs> then we, then we start thinking of ideas. You know, he's like, oh, this would be cool. This would be cool. And and we and plus we never did female uh a female league before. We had female wrestlers before, but never in a female league. So that was a basically all we wanted to do. Now now Shimera Shimera Brandon was was a dead giveaway, right? I mean obviously she was coming out of the Malik Bunny King angle, so she was like, All right, we gotta bring in Shimera, right? That that was Yeah, you yeah. know, and the and the way it worked out was was pretty cool because you know after, you know, we get the names, we kind of do the backstory a little bit. And I, you know how you go to a, and I might have mentioned this before, but how, you know, when, when like, a, you know, the police are trying to catch a criminal and they got like this board with all the newspapers and they got the the little, <laughs> and then, and the East, that is Sean's house, I guarantee. <laughs> nice. He, he has all these characters, like how they, you know, how they are aligned, how they know each other and stuff like that. So the way we worked it out, was it was kind of the thing where like Chimera and uh, Fang Go met in Japan, and then they came across. But Chimera, previous to that, was in the same asylum that Malik was, and that's how they were close. So that kind of tied all of those together. Nice. Yeah, I mean, uh, now the serpents. You guys got rid of the serpents. Is that 
did we wipe out the servants now? Or? Yeah, you know, we we did the male and we did male and female servants, and uh, you know, after a while, when when it was time that we could see that the bike, because the biking was never something that was going to last, and it, we actually never thought it would probably, you know, kind of go as long as it did. But uh, but yeah, when that when that was over, we kind of just decided to you know switch the servants, change their names, kind of go in a different direction. Yeah, that's a, that's one of the things we talked about the last time, Sean. Is in terms of uh, uh, trash talk, you know, finding people that are actually willing to go outside of uh, outside of the norm is you know it's it's far there's far too few people willing to to make that extension, you know. Yeah, that's that's the hardest part, and and I like to throw out a bunch of different ideas out there and see if some of them other managers pick up on them. You know, because I already got ideas for, okay, if they say this, I'm going in this direction. If they do this, I'm going in this direction. I did it with us in the MML. You know, I was hoping you went one way with the story. and But if you didn't, you know, I, had an, if I wanted you to go another way. Kind of baited you to go a different way <laughs> in some of these stories, you know. I already had, I already had a play to where, where, wherever you needed to go. Oh, so, yeah, man, I was... Yeah. I was I was telling Brandon the last time I go I go you know what to be honest with you guys with that whole little MML thing I was never expecting to have trash talk I I really wasn't and dude when I had that when I got you know I was talking to Eric one day and I was like you know there's somebody else here bro he's like what do you mean I go yeah I go there's I, I know there's somebody else here because that's not your trash talk right he's like no that's not mine and I was like. Okay, then there's somebody else here. <laughs> there's somebody else. And yeah, I, I wasn't expecting to get any MML trash talk, bro. I mean, I had, I was like, I was reluctant to just run my own storylines and, and just keep going with it. So when you guys showed up, oh man, that shit was a blessing. Yeah, it, it worked out. It's worked out for both leagues too. And like the RWL, you know, we've kind of, you know, had some managers come and go as far as trash talk because we've had a lot of them. You know, we got you know us, which usually do the trash talk, and then we got some new guys that are in here trash talking now, which is awesome. Um, but overall, you know, we get we got the, we got some that kind of trash talk here and there and stuff like that. But uh, I think the RWL, like right now, is kind of ready to just explode. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm on that same page. That's why you know I was like, you know what? Let me reach out and see if we can get an RWL show going. Get the get the RWL some more airtime, and I think I think it'll be it'll be some nice uh, fuel for this uh, burning fire already. Because I I think it's hot already. I mean, I've looked back at you know the you know five six that I've missed this last couple, uh, and I mean kudos to Sean and, and to you guys for keeping it going because. I was out. That was the one thing, like I said, I, I feel the worst about in terms of uh, my last couple of weeks or cycles of uh, absentee, you know. But yeah, I mean, I think the covers have been fucking off the wall. The, you know, the trash talk. I, dude, uh, the one guy you had take over for uh, Hugh Suck? <laughs> yeah, Morty Vigoson. <sighs> when, when, when I saw that, I was like, oh my <laughs> God, this is cool. I'm like, yeah. that was perfect, man. That was just. And what about the the untimely demise of your other guy? The, oh yeah, the, um, o -D -O -D -O ODB. Yeah, Ali Ali D Bristol. Yeah, I, I wanted to do away with him, so he died of like alcohol poisoning, pretty much. You know, <sighs> he was a drinker, womanizer. So you're like, it's time. It's time for ODB to go. It's time for ODB. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so just to, just to get back on uh, get back on this uh, in terms of uh, I mean th we're still going to keep it under Interfed Radio I guess uh, tune into these shows we're going to try and do one uh, for each cycle if we can if we get time um, let's see here I'm looking at this uh, I'm looking at this front page uh, who wants to take the honors and go over the the league champs. Uh. Go ahead, Brandon. Yeah, like right. <laughs> <laughs> so RWL champion, Lady Fango. Uh, Rebel champion, Venus De Rose. Las Vegas champion, Gabby Wonder. Hollywood champion, the deviant Erica Rockwell. Midwest champion, Bonita LaBelle. 
Texas champion, the hater from the DM, number two. Minnesota champion, Aya Rathmore. The Michigan champion, no tears left to cry. The uh, Ohio champion, uh, Susie Moon. Louisiana champion, Ariana's flawless spray tan. Alabama champion, Babs Capone. The Florida champion, Focus. And the tag team, RBO tag team champions, Betty and the Beast and the Day After Tamara. The Rebel champions, the Scarlet Liberty Monroe and the Deviant Erica Rockwell. Six-man champions, again, the Hellion, Roxanne O'Connor, the Scarlet Liberty Monroe and the Deviant Erica Rockwell. And the Rebel six-man champs, Winter Gore, Ameris Gore, and Trista Gore. Nice. And uh, honestly, those uh, tagging, well, actually, both the six-man champs, all six of those have done awesome since coming into the RWL. Yes, you know, I, I know, I know O'Connor and uh, and his uh, and their group. I mean, those that manager right there, yeah. He, he, whatever, whatever his six man strategy is, kudos, man. Because geez, every league I'm in with him, it's like, are you kidding me? Again? <laughs> and he started trash talking this month in the RWL too, so that's a bonus as well. Yeah. Bonus. Now the uh, it looks like Ariana Grande stable got a couple belts. I, I wasn't even aware that he was still in the RWL. I, I thought he was. I thought that wasn't going to be one of his leagues. I, uh, I was mistaken. That's eight eight of the six fifty, right? Eight of the six fifty in our league. Let's see here. <laughs> you and know what? If, if he can come up with a way to creatively trash talk with those names, I will be impressed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. I don't think I don't think he's ever gonna though. I mean, I, Pro- and I guess I'm wrong. Oh man, yeah, I, he, yeah. I'm not even gonna get into it, man. Poor, poor man. Yeah, yeah I want to see some trash talk from him. I mean, it, it, like I said, I've seen that I've seen some trash talk from him, but it's kind of like I was in Miami and Ariana Grande came over and you know I was having her baby and I'm like, what? Yeah. what, what uh, no, no, <laughs> not not what I want to hear on. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he goes I'll, way way out. I'll take that back then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Now, in terms of uh, in terms of the belt, uh, let's see. Fan go. Uh, uh, any mini, but what, what did you have? You had a four ninety nine this cycle. Yep. Um, and uh, one thing I will say, storyline wise, with uh, Fan go, we've had a nice uh, me and yourself had a nice little feud going over the, almost the probably close to the ten months um, with Gabby Wonder and uh, Lady Fango, and basically it's kind of gone back and forth. I mean, we've done a lot of trash talk, and Gabby Wonder kind of, the way the way our story kind of told it was, you know, or Lady Fango hasn't spoke pretty much since the first cycle because of the fact that, uh, you know, the people kind of didn't support uh, Chimera because of her disfigurement and stuff like that. So she's like, hey, you know what? These fans are like this, and they're not worth hearing me speak. So, so then Gabby came in, and if they all accepted her as kind of the face of the RWL, so of course that pissed off, you know, thing go. So after kind of trading wins and stuff for a long time and stuff, we uh, finally had the final battle this past time, and my uh, 499 was not enough. So, uh, yeah, Gabby wins, and go ahead to speak. She had to say the words, I quit. Man, you know what? I, I, I kid you not. I mean, it throughout this whole IWA, it's so hard to keep a face character, man. It really is. Yeah. No, you done a good job with Gabby, though. Yeah. Man, it, it, everybody. I mean, I do believe me. I've have I've had my moments where I want to just kind of like, especially with uh, my other character with like Babs. I wanted her to have like that rough edge. Right. But at the same time, not not go over the edge, you know. So I mean, I, I personally I enjoyed the Babs uh, uh, Chimera or, or Chimera uh, angle the most, man. I'll be dead honest with you. I mean, yes. having them go back and forth was nothing against Gabby and Fan Go, but Chimera versus Babs is my personal like angle over these last couple of uh, last couple cycles. Yeah, I like that whole uh, 
chimera in love with Frankie, like a, like like the bat's a person, you know. <laughs> That's just yeah, like just, a crazy gotta, idea, you, gotta, you know. You got to <laughs> explain who Frankie is for anybody that doesn't know. Yeah. A barbed well, wire bat. <laughs> barbed wire. Well, I, I, it was it was right around that time where uh, Walking Dead's uh, I, what's the I forgot what season is maybe seven Negan, yeah. seven yeah with Negan and stuff. So I, I mean I had that wrapped around my head. I was like, okay, if he can have uh, uh, I went blank. What was the name of his bat? Uh, Lucille. Lucille. Yeah, if you can have Lucille, I can have Frankie. So I, I brought in the bat and. Kind of threw it in there with whole uh, Babs Capone and her ankle. I kind of want to burn Frankie in these next up couple of cycles, <laughs> just, just just to throw it out there. I mean, I, I, Frankie's tainted. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I, and I kind of want to work it around the whole. You know, she's uh, she doesn't need Frankie; she needs her her teammates. You know, just to kind of wrap, but you know, get get her back on the whole face. You know, keep her on that. You know, because I kind of want to keep them that face style. You know, or that. Not not break it. You, you, you crack me up with the baby face stuff because, like, uh, you, you know, our characters Malik and uh, uh, Fantastico, they had that you know nice little uh, nice little war, and then they kind of developed a strange friendship, which we talked about on the last thing. But uh, so now we're kind of in the process of this planning thing, this new kind of thing with Malik, and I'm like. Oh yeah, Moss can be in this too, and you're like, I don't, I don't know, Moss is a baby face. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah. and and because once you once you heal them, it's over. Right. Yeah, yeah, you can't. You, there's no going back. So I, I, that's why I'm like so certain characters that I have. I just I'm like I'm reluctant to. You know, I'm just like I I can't I can't. I'm like, what do you mean you can? You can make a whole nother. I mean, somebody got 650. You can make one more character, Dick. Right. Like. <laughs> No, 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 I can't do it. I can't do it. Uh, all right, so now in terms of trash talk, what else What else do we got? You want to start with uh, the pay-per-view stuff, or you want to go over the actual trash talk first, guys? Um, uh, you going to go over the pay-per-view real quick? Uh, the pay-per-view from a couple cycles ago? 25? Yeah, I'm I'll I'm looking through the trash talk right now. I'm looking at uh, yeah. looks like uh, the revolt from a couple psycho- cycles ago. I mean, obviously you had the fan go Gabby Wonder match on it. Okay, Let's yeah. See. Let's see. Fan go Gabby Wonder. Yeah, this, this is uh, that was in this cycle. Yeah, that was, this was the newest one. Yeah. But yeah, we could go over. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that was, a, that was the newest one. Oh, that's the, okay. That one's that's the one. That's in, the, the, cur- yeah. the current matches are in, in this one, then. Right. Yes. Which are, yeah, I got everything. Yeah, I already got all the results on that one, too. So that's, okay, yeah, we can talk about that. Yeah, you want to go over, you want to go over the 26 results first? Do you want me to do those and then you go over the 27? Sure. All right, so we had our, uh, Revolt uh, number twenty six uh, results looks like uh, Gamer Girl uh, defeated Bonita Labelle. Uh, let's see here, who else do we have? Uh, the stars. Uh, oh, that was. Uh, is that Starlet? Uh, I'm yeah. Trying to who, what Starlet uh, from the? Darn it! Can't even remember what the hell her name was. Let's see here. Dun, dun, yeah, Starlet. That Liberty. was Liberty Monroe. Liberty Monroe. Yes. All right. So we had Starlet defeated. Uh, oh no! I take that back. Star defeated Starlet. Or hold on. Oh no! There we go. Defeated Tanya Story. Tanya Story three. Yeah. Tanya Story three. Da, da, da. Now this is a new crew, right? The Gores. The, how long have they been in here? Oh. Four cycles, some four or five cycles. Yeah, and they, they've, and they've been pretty dominant since showing up. They're pretty much uh, usually uh, usually got some gold around their waist. Yeah, usually tagging six. They're really good. And it looks like they went mixed match and uh, defeated uh, Lucy Muscle Barbie and Tisha Campbell. And last on that one, we had uh, Winter Gore. 
Oh, no way. Defeated Lokita. Yeah. In Revolt X, Alexis Rose. To take was the that, title. A, was yeah. that a three-way tangle? Yeah. Oh, nice. Man, I wish, uh, you know what, Lokita and Muffin and them, I mean, they had a little run there for a while. They're, I mean, I think Lokita was a uh, Hollywood champion for like four or five cycles in a row. Yeah. You know, you know, too bad, uh, too bad she fell off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, I, I like the whole storyline with her angels and everything like that, how she kind of bossed them around and stuff like that. And that, that was always pretty entertaining. Oh, yeah. And then not only that, she, I mean, on top of the trash talk, the, you know, the gold that, you know, that came from it. I mean, she right. talked, talked the talk and walked the walk, you know? Right. All right, who do we have here? I'm just going down this uh down the trash talk okay. guys. Uh let's see here. And you said Sean, you said you had the results for the twenty seven revolt. You want to go over those? Uh yes it is. So uh, can we pick it up real quick? Okay, for Monday Night Revolt, cycle twenty seven. No, we had Miss Leiden versus Chocolate Muffin, and Miss Leiden took that one. We had the Davis Sisters versus the Bennett Sisters rematch, you know, from the pay-per-view, and the Bennett Sisters took this match. In the aforementioned I Quit match, Fango versus Gabby Wonder, you know, Fango just, you know, just barely got... You know, got beat out of that one with Gabby and had to say I quit. Poor and poor Gabby, man. The the yeah. one cycle that he, he that she manages to beat Fango, Fango actually takes the whole league. Yeah. Ah, league. That's that was crazy, you know. And we'll get and, to see what the next the next phase in that comes this month. Oh cool. man. Okay, and the Revolt X Championship, which Winter Gore was the champion. She had uh, against Stella, the real Stella, and the Deviants. And the Deviant took this one. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, you so know what? That's going to that's gonna set up some nice uh, and some nice angles there, I think. Yeah. And speaking of that, you know, if we go over to the Wednesday Night Turmoil, we got – there's a Contender X match. Which determines who Deviant's gonna face with, between Beloved and Hellion, and and the Hellion took it. So they're both on the same team, going for the Revolt X title. Nice. But they got they got to contend with the Battle Royal winner, newcomer Susie Moon. Nice. So, so it'd be the Deviant, the Hellion, and Susie Moon in a triple threat next. You know. In uh, Monday Night Revolts number twenty-eight. Now let's uh, let, let's give everybody a little bit of a backdrop in terms of uh, what we have going on here in the RWL. I mean, uh, obviously we're going over the results for uh, Monday Night Revolt, which yeah. is uh, I, what I would consider the what are they calling it? The premiere show or the yes, it's their flagship show. There, that's the word. The yeah. flagship show there in the RWL. Uh, and then we also have, uh, Wednesday Night Turmoil, which is, you know, their, you know, their secondary show there. Yeah. Let's see here. And one yeah, of the these... mention is, uh, yeah. you talk about the Revolt title. That's, uh, it was basically spawned out of a tournament with females from the MML and the RWL. Yes. Oh, man, that, or oh, remind me. I, yeah, it's part of the interfaith. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 yep. and not not only that, but I mean, you guys got to remember. I mean, everything was like everything was going well until this freaking computer just took a damn dive, and and everything <laughs> happened like right at that one moment when she so happened to win it, and I had stuff going, and I was like, and I had to bite my tongue at some point. I was like, do I just? I I, I literally was just gonna type it up and send it in, and I was just like, as weird as it sounds, with everything that I have going on, I I felt bad for sending it in that way. I'm like. All right, cool. I'm just gonna hold off. I let let everything just play out. Just hang in there, and oh, 
believe me, guys, I I, I didn't want to back off. Well, yeah, look, but Gabby Wonder, she's she held a title for yeah, two wild. cycles. Yeah. So she was the first. She held it. She won a title. Then she retained the title. So so far, no one else has done that yet. Nice. Everyone it keeps changing, changing each cycle. So Gabby had it twice. You know, two in a row. Yeah, and you know what though? I don't know. Uh. Right now we have a strong champion that could possibly hold it more than more than two. Yeah. Now, how are uh, in terms of the uh, contestants? We're going to keep doing a contender X and the uh, battle royal because I think that's yes. I figured that's fair because you you know the contender X you know it will pit two people and I like the three way dance you know for a type of match. And so we're using actually this last cycle's battle royal winner to determine, you know, who's going to face in the following cycle. So nice. Um, I'm I'm scanning through the rest of this uh, report, um, looking at this uh, wrestler news outlet. Yeah. Now. Uh, just to give everybody a bit a little bit of a backdrop uh when we did the extension from the MML into the RWL I brought over I brought over some of my cast and uh I mean it, you know those of you guys that have been uh following along I don't like characters to disappear so like for instance right now that uh some of our cast from the MML has gone different places in the back of my head they're just exploring different IWA leagues. They're they're out there still. They're you know they're yeah. exploring their options. You know because I don't I don't want to lose Malik the Mad. I don't want to lose Salvador Bain. I just I mean those characters are too good of characters in my IWA world that you know I yeah I don't want them just because they went to the SHL to uh, vanish into you know oblivion. You know. Yeah, and that's the beauty of the Interfed is that nobody has to vanish. Yeah, I mean, that's that that that's the goal. I mean, it's obviously still in its uh, you know, infant stages, you know, everybody's still kind of, you know, trying to you know, I talk to people day in day out trying to convince them, "Hey, you know what? You know, there, we can do this. There is a way we can trash talk and, you know, keep everybody's characters interacting, I guess is is my way of uh, thinking about it. You know, I, I, I kid you not, guys. I mean, if, if it wasn't for characters like Salvador and Malik, you know, I don't, I don't think I would have kept the MML going that long. I mean, I, you know, obviously, you know, Eric's characters as well with, uh, with Skywalker and, uh, Doragon, uh, not Doragon, uh, uh, Dragon, you know, so, I mean, that kept me motivated, kept me moving. Oh, yeah, definitely. And, and you know what the funny thing is, is as many characters as you can name, that uh, are, you know are such good characters with uh, because of like the trash talk they do and stuff. There's so many other ones out there that I, I see like their names and stuff, and I'm like, man, if, if this person you know did some trash talk with them, I mean, it, it'd be awesome. Yeah, it would be. Right. Speaking of Russell News Outlet, you know, it's pretty much start. You know, I took that over from. From you, your Hugh Suck character, so you know a little bit about that. Oh yeah, I mean Hugh Suck, uh, he had this uh, contest going. I guess uh, first, it, you know, offered up a uh, little in, uh, purse incentive, uh, first one to win all ten uh, regionals uh, in the RWL, and then of course, uh, you know, I had my little fallout, and uh, looks like uh, Morty uh, uh, Vig- Vigason uh, picked it up and kept the ball rolling which is real cool because there's some damn good fighters on that list right there yeah these are the only ones that signed up so i just want to continue that continue the contest take over the prize that and it's going to last till the end of the year so whoever has the most by the end of the year because you know because it potentially could go on for way too long right so i'm going to give it till the end of the year because i got a whole new idea Nice. I'm working on for next year. So, 
Yeah, that's a, that, that's a good little bunch right there. Now, in terms of uh, stories or angles that we got going on right now in the RWL, I know uh, I know we just mentioned uh, some new managers are trash talking. Uh, I know uh, Fango and uh, Chimera got their angles still moving along. You guys want to go over uh, what's going on with Chimera and uh, Fango at the moment? Well, Chimera is actually uh, – she has uh, left the RWL. And she is on the way to uh, join Malik in the SHL. Um, and you know, as far as uh, you know, Fango goes, she's just uh, you know, you'll hear her basically uh, the aftermath of having to say I quit to Gabby. That'll be this month, and she'll be starting a new path. Now, the other on the other side of that NRA gang, we got uh, Rathmore. And it looks like Rathmore uh, is introducing the new characters of the NRA. Is that? Yes, I, I, I wanted to, you know, pretty much had three characters. So since Chimera was leaving, I created a Susie Moon to be in there. And I guess some interesting stuff with her coming up. So, so you got to keep, keep a lookout for that. Nice. I'm, I'm just scrolling down this. Uh, looks like. Uh, oh, here we go. Looks like Liberty and uh, and their group over here finally got their first uh, trash talk going. Let's see here. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, they just. Uh, which I, I was really surprised to see some trash talk. That's pretty. And it's pretty good trash talk. Yeah, I like how they put the they sent the picture of the characters in, so you can kind of have an idea of what they look like, and basically just kind of put the league on notice. Oh yeah. Now, just I mean, just to give you guys a little bit of a backdrop, I mean, uh, only reason I know this is because I'm pretty much engulfed in this whole IWA. But these characters are, you know, pretty big characters in their own right. Uh, they were, uh, they, you know, pretty much came over from the BRL and, you know, they were a part of the BRL women's division there that, you know, had its upstart. I'm not sure which one of them, but I, I do know that they won, you know, their fair share of gold there in the BRL. Let's see yeah. here. Well, Wait, definitely welcome additions to the RWL. Oh yeah. These girls, I mean, it, it, in my eyes, I mean, they already come with a history. I mean, I like I said, I, it's just like uh, like if Hogan were going to Japan, or if you know, yeah. you know, Mil Mascaras was coming to Madison Square Garden. You know, they have a history, so it's not like you know they're nobodies. You know, that's right. and that's that, that's kind of the way I see the IWA is. You know, there's a lot of characters that I know and I respect, and I already know you know some history behind them. And I don't want that to be gone, even though they're coming to a new league. And that's, you know, that's part of my goal with uh, with this whole Interfed stuff is getting some of these characters out there and uh, getting more people to know them, you know, outside of uh, just their manager and the two or three people that they may be feuding with. Uh, so let, let me go ahead and give them their uh, their shout out. This is uh, Starlet Liberty Monroe, uh, the Helian Roxanne O'Connor and the Deviant Erica Rockwell. Uh, like I said, they got some good trash talk. Looking to wrap it up with them, uh, or wrapping up with them in the next couple of cycles as well. So, uh, yeah, I like them. Uh, I would. Well, speaking of that, real quick, I like them to, you know, tell a little bit about their previous, you know, league. You know, bring some of that history, some of that story with them here. You know, to kind of, kind of like a a re. A review of themselves, you know, you know, sort of people like now, I didn't know anything about that until you told me, because you know I would like for their manager to put some of that stuff in in their trash talk. Yeah, and that, that's what kind of yeah. would be the great thing about the internet too is just you know because no, I don't think anybody reads every single league bulletin, you know what I mean? So there's you're, there's going to be lots of characters out there that are good characters that you're not going to see. Yeah, oh man, believe me, I wish everybody would be open to just 
extending themselves out like that, man. I mean, it's it would make this game so much more exciting to interact and uh, yeah, I mean, with as few people that they were left trash talking, it's yeah, we we definitely needed a little more uh, coordination with uh, with those managers that still want to trash talk. I mean, I'm I'll tell you right from the start. I mean, I know the Gold has their division of leagues that they uh, they coordinate. They do a great job interacting and uh, keeping trash talk going. Uh, we mentioned the LWL the last time. LWL has a great trash talk. They got great. Uh, commissioner participation that you know gets their managers moving forward and i honestly think the rwl is right up there with them i mean the way uh sean and uh and yourself kind of bring the report together i I mean i think we can rival any i mean i I told you this the last time i honestly think the rwl is the top women's league in the iwa by far yeah no no disrespect to any of the other ones but i i agree and that's just because of the uh, just the the quality of uh, people we have in the league. You can tell. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, I think other than other than the RWL, I think there's one other. I think the women's league and the Iron gets a lot of uh, a yeah, lot of BBL. cards. I mean, but the, I mean, not to downplay it, but I know that's a uh, pay <clears throat> league, so it's, it's one of those credit IWA credit leagues. Uh, so. Okay. I think that's why they got a lot of uh, movement there. But in terms of a report, I mean, the RWL's report is unrivaled in terms of, you know, the women's divisions. And even in terms of just leagues in general, I mean, if you look out there, you know, not too many have a report nowadays. So, I mean, if you're looking for a report, if you're looking for a good report, you know, definitely uh, give the RWL a second look. Uh, we got a lot going on in these next couple of weeks. Um should be fun. Definitely. Yeah, and I'm still learning, you know, I'm still learning and improving. But if you look at my report from the first couple of cycles till now, you know, it's just keep evolving. You see your know, style and the way I've, you know, oh. working out my matches, everything, you know. Oh, yeah, man. The whole, I mean, I, I think it's a nice, complete report in terms of, I mean, one of the things I think I failed uh, to do in the MML is present results as much, and that's that's one of the things I actually like about the RWL report is that you got those results worked into the worked into the report. So it makes it easy to look back, makes it easy to kind of scan and you know look what's going on, what happened, you know. Yeah, and I didn't have that at first. I just you know slowly started getting there, and like this is what it needs, you know. Yeah, man. Brandon, anything else uh, you want to go over with this one? We're right around uh, right around that forty minute mark right now. Yeah, no, I would just say if you're looking for a female league to go to, and if you're just looking for a quality league in general, um, I think the RWL is a great choice, and uh, we look forward to anybody else coming in. Sean, any last words? Yeah, the best is yet to come. Yeah, I got plans <laughs> for the coming year. And it's and if they all, I guess you just gotta talk to the IWA first. So I'm not gonna, you know, bring them out there right yet. But if they go, if the IWA lets me do it, you can see a really awesome league, nice. better than it is now. Yeah. Sounds sounds like a plan. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna go ahead and uh, call it for right there. Uh, you've been listening to the voice of uh, Sean, Brandon, and myself, IWA Flip. This is Interfed Radio. Uh, Keep tuning in. Like uh, Sean said, the best is yet to come. Guys, we're out of here. Thanks. See ya.